Hello, I'm David McRae, technical agronomist for InsiTech Pivot Fertilisers, based in Tamworth. Well, probably the biggest thing that's happened this year and maybe last year is the denitrification we've had. So we've got to think about putting extra N into these systems. Now it's cooled down, we're going to, and nitrification is going to be slower anyway. So we've got to add extra N, and we've got to try and get the value out of that extra N. So we've got to think about what rate, so we've, we've lessened or lost nitrogen. So our rates have probably got to be higher than they were last year or previous years when we haven't lost that nitrogen. What can we do to get maximum value out of that nitrogen? One is to add ProJib into the system. ProJib is a gibberellic acid that helps extend the, or blow up plant cells, so it extends the, the biomass production in that time. But we've got to think about the rate versus the variety as well. You know, ryegrasses are a lot more responsive and phalaris to ProJib than some of the other varieties. So we need the right rate, plus we need the right rate of nitrogen for our system. But also, if we're thinking about loss of nitrogen, it's getting a lot more air time these days. So if we're spreading surface spread urea, we need to consider, you know, green urea, which is a, it's a NBPT. So we need to lessen the potential for lateralisation losses with spreading. So if you spread urea, you don't get rainfall. The urea sits in the trash. That's where you get a lot of ureas, and you can lose up to up to 30 to 40 percent of that nitrogen. If you look at Graham Swinky's work over the last few years, or the other side of it, if we are putting nitrogen in the soil, and we want to keep it in the form of um, ammonium, so we don't get leaching losses with these high rainfall events, we need to consider looking at NPR. It's a nitrification inhibitor that stops the conversion of ammonium to nitrate. Ammonium stays in the soil system, attracts to the clay or attaches to the clay, whereas nitrate is quite mobile in the soil and can leach out with you know, high amounts of water or high amounts of rainfall. So if you are considering looking putting ProJib on your pasture, to save the, the extra pass, you, know, you can consider looking at a, a liquid like EZN. You can mix the two together and in one pass you've got the job done. So that could be, you know, depending on the rate, that could be a three week, five week, seven week grazing period depending on the pasture variety. So in terms of getting the most out of our nitrogen, nitrogen is not the only limiting factor in our production systems. If you want to maximise the amount of beef, the amount of milk you're going to produce off your farm, you know, you need to think about your potassium, sulphur and other, you know, maybe some micronutrients. The best way to assess that is do some well-timed and well-placed soil tests and, you know, talk to your local reseller about taking those to make sure you get the, the value out of the system.